This was an interesting thing for me. When I was in college, obviously, I kicked off and uh, kicked field goals, and we did a rugby punt ride rollout. But I always felt like I was among the most athletic people on the field at the time, right? I always felt like, you know, I could probably keep up with a lot of these people if I had to run back in the day now. And I was a strength and conditioning All-American. I could hang clean like 365. I mean, it was a different day, different day, different day <laughs> than today. But we're going to hope to get back to that point at some point in my life because I'd like to live forever now. I've always said that I thought I was going to die young. Then I heard that Tracy McGrady interview talking about Kobe, how Kobe always thought he was going to die young. Now I'm going to change that. And I'm just going to try to put in the universe that I would like to live forever. So I'm trying to get back healthy. But I always thought I was at least, you know, able to keep up athletically when I was at West Virginia with people. Then I got in the NFL in the preseason games. I would kick in. I'm like, I think I still got it here. Then the regular season kicked off. And the speed just went from like, it was like second gear. And they just went straight to fourth gear, right? It was like a floating clutch, like boom, double shift. We'll go straight to fourth gear here, right? And I was like, damn, I am the least athletic person on this field by far. <laughs> then we got to the playoffs. And they went from fourth to fifth gear. Everybody was just faster, just like nothing mattered to everybody on the field. Nothing mattered. We're flying as hard as we can. And then if we got to get to another week, all right, we'll scrape ourselves up. We'll get another week and then we'll go again. And then when we got to the Super Bowl. Well, hello there. Utilize the promo code pay the bills and get $20 off your first order from SeatGeek. Now, back to the magic. I have never seen humans <laughs> not give a single damn about their bodies like I did in the Super Bowl. I mean, they put that thing in sixth gear. They put the horse blinders on, like Chuck Pagano <laughs> says, and they were just heat-seeking missiles. When you get to the playoffs, you know that you're in a situation where you can go win immortal, just immortality almost whenever you win the Super Bowl. So Derrick Henry, who had a lot of carries all year, to think that he was tired or didn't want to do it, like I just don't think that's accurate because he also had like $100 million or potential $80 million mm -hmm. on the line because he hasn't signed his contract yet. But when you get into the Super Bowl, man, now granted last year's Super Bowl was a big dud, but I think that was the biggest eye-opener for me my rookie season was like, in preseason, I was like, okay, I, I still can keep up athletically here. And then regular season started, I'm like, well, these guys are a lot faster than I thought. And then the playoffs happened, I'm like, who are these dudes? And then the Super Bowl came. And it's like, where's a wall? I want to run through it. And everybody had that mindset. I, it was, I, I, I've never been more mind blown by being the least athletic human in a place like I was at that Super Bowl with the humans that were flying around, willing to <laughs> do whatever they need to do to get a win.